Hello, 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 humanity. Um, sorry, uh, once again, I still haven't uh, um, uh, come to the conclusion how to um, remedy this uh, problem with technology, with uh, getting all of the uh, getting all of the recipes to you uh, in a PDF. Uh, we're talking. Um, we're talking at least 30 recipes and I just I just simply don't uh, I don't I don't know how to grasp the technology enough to where I can just um, at least two PDFs and I can just comprise all of the recipes and and get them to you but at any rate what I uh, want to try to do if that's okay with you maybe I can get you three recipes in a day and uh you know you can hold on to the three and work with that and then uh know that the uh, next day three more are coming but uh remember this uh in the event that uh you know that's a little bit too tedious for you waiting for all three of the tangibility of uh the actual recipes to be able to hold them in your hand be it to go and be able to do your grocery shopping or however it goes the objective to this eating lifestyle is you want to get as much of that sugar out of your diet uh uh as many carbs out and uh, lower, lowering the calories. And uh, remember the challenge uh, um, if you're uh, taking it uh, to make sure you're able to tell me that uh, I don't know what I'm talking about is, uh, you know, just, you know, you want to feel good. Um, you know, the first couple of weeks, you're, you know, uh, remember, as I said earlier, you're probably not going to see any weight loss. If you do, it'll probably be a pound or two. But uh, the, the main thing, you should feel a little bit better. You should have just a little bit, uh, a touch more of energy. And so uh, um, if you can, even without uh, not seeing all of the recipes, you know, try to, you know, if you're drinking sugary sodas, you know, for the whole week, you know, dismiss the uh, sugary sodas and uh, opt for the uh, uh, broccoli and um, broccoli, broccoli, broccoli and celery, uh, extra sweet juice. And, you know, I made a mistake too uh, while we're on that subject uh, of that juice. It's not the mock fruit that you're going to put uh, uh, in the blender. You're going to use the uh, sugar-free uh, syrup, you know, and when I say syrup, I don't mean the syrup that you put on your pancakes. I mean those um, uh, there are those uh, flavorful uh, syrups that you generally pour in your coffee. I'm, I'm seeing them now in uh, uh, in Dollar Tree, but uh, you know, uh, I hope it's okay to uh, say the names. But uh, you know, in your local uh, grocers or your uh, uh, you know your supermarkets and things like that, you should be able to find the uh, sugar-free uh, syrups. And remember, they're you know the, the syrups that you put in your coffee, not the syrups that you put on your pancakes and uh, even I'm gonna try to get the watermelon and the um, or I may have I know I take that back so uh, maybe you would opt for uh, the pancakes the sausage the mock um, the mock salads uh, you know try if you can if I didn't get the bagel recipe uh, to you uh, uh, you know I'm gonna try to get it to you today and and try to get that bread out for the week you know because a lot of your bread it's not only uh, it's not only sugar but you got your sugar and your yeast and um, there's uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with the sugar or the yeast if they're in moderation. But if you're hurting, you're aching, and you're trying to get those cravings down, you're trying to feel a little bit better, you know, just for a week, let's take the bread out and let's opt for the uh, homemade sugar-free uh, bagels, or uh, you may not even want to just put the whole in, but just make them into bread. And then I've also provided you with um, uh, a uh, cheese... Um, a um I've also provided you with a cheese uh, a cheese biscuit, and you can make that as large or as small as you want to. But what uh, 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 what 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 
you're trying to do with the uh, with with the recipes you're trying to first take you want to get as much of the sugar out the carbs and and lower your calories but you also want to take the deprivation out because i was i was listening to someone yesterday and they were talking about their new year's resolution and i just thought about it and and, and remember i'm only talking about myself this this is my testimony and uh you know the personalization and the customization has been done for me so uh and i'm not a clinician i'm not uh, a nutritionist and nothing uh anything that i'm presenting should be taken or uh uh even considered without consulting your physician but i thought about that uh, yesterday when i was listening to someone talk about their new year's resolution and i thought about you know uh for me a lot of the reason why it didn't work is because of the deprivation because you know okay do this and do that and in order for you to get the results in order for you to get the solutions you 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 have to uh uh take out so many of the things that you've grown to love and enjoy well the reason why this eating lifestyle the reason why it's um it can be and hopefully it will be for you uh, uh successful in terms of your cravings in terms of feeling a little bit better is that you're uh, uh you're replacing a lot of the things that you like you know a lot of people like uh, chicken salad or turkey salad or what have you they love sweet pies you know pumpkin pie uh apple pie and they love, uh, you know, sweet, uh, uh, you, you know, your pancakes, you know, with your sweet syrups and all this, but you're having all of that, but it's without the sugar. It's without a lot of the carbs. And so that's why the uh, recipes are crucial because they're uh, replacing the sugar that, uh, you know, oftentimes we, you know, we go overboard, the calories, we go overboard and it makes us sick. And we're in this struggle and, uh, uh, you know, the uh, replacement they help us to go a little bit further and uh, uh, not feel that deprivation where, you know, okay, I'll do this uh, resolution for a week. I'll do it for two weeks and I can hardly wait to have uh, my uh, uh, cheese burgers, my cat, my uh, uh, cheesy uh, um uh, uh, calorie laden, sugary laden dishes and that. So you're provided with recipes that give you that uh, satiety, that satisfaction of those things, but it's without the sugar, without all of the carbs, and there lies your success and there lies your solution. So uh, uh, a good example was yesterday, I didn't, uh, I really didn't start cooking until late, 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 late last night. So what did that mean? The whole, uh, uh, the whole uh, day was filled with just eating anything because that's my struggle now. Now that I've, uh, um, I have gotten some results and it has uh, provided a, a, a solution, small solution for me, and I've gotten just uh, tiny results. Um, thing is, you know, with the excruciating pain, the meal prepping is really an issue. And then my oven is so small, so I can't do this large, massive amount at one time. So when I get hungry, I can just go in the refrigerator and uh, get something. So remember in uh, audio book one, we talk about that a lot. The deprivation and the meal prepping can really prove to make or break your eating lifestyle because, you know, you can have a day where, you know, it's, it, it's really challenging challenging and uh, preparing Hearing a meal can really, really make or break your uh, your eating lifestyle because you may physically not be able uh, uh, to prepare, uh, you know, a meal that keeps you out of the sugar, that keeps you out of the high carb content, that, uh, you know, provides you with the lower caloric content. You may physically not uh, feel that way. That's the way I was yesterday. I didn't start feeling a uh, little bit of strength until late last night. Mentally, you may not be uh, 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 able to do that. You know, you may have a day where you got situations and circumstances that have uh, taken place that have mentally got you into a place where you, you know, you really need to get somewhere and get your mind right. And you just don't feel like preparing a dish that keeps you out of all that sugar.
that keeps you out of uh, a real, real high caloric content or all of the carbs and what have you. Whereas if you have your meal prep, it you know, it's a no brainer. You go in, you get your uh, things out of the freezer, you put them in the microwave and you're good to go. But uh, like I say, if physically or mentally, you know, uh, uh, you're challenged in that area for that day, that's not going to be easy for you. So the meal prepping, uh, uh, it really does help you. And so uh, uh, there are lies my problem you know with my struggle the meal prepping is just really uh it, it's becoming an issue for me and i'm finding myself more and more uh a good example was yesterday i had what, what did i have i had uh, i had chips i had uh uh, but you know, and I haven't stopped eating chips, but you know, I don't eat them in massive quantities and they don't replace meals now. But, uh, you know, when I get in one of those modes where I don't have, um, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the, uh, meal, um, I don't have the meal prep available. I'll, you know, I'm hungry. I'll eat anything. Yesterday, I wasn't physically able to, you know, do the meal prep and my oven is so small. I didn't have anything stored up to, like I say, it was really, it was just a mess in terms of my eating. The latter part of uh, yesterday, which was well, well over into the night, I found myself uh, uh, getting a little strength. So I did. I prepared a uh, uh, pumpkin, a chocolate pumpkin pie, uh, sugar-free, uh, except for, uh, you know, a few grams of sugar that are in your graham cracker crust. You know, I don't know if in your area or if you can just do a graham cracker crust where you can find uh, graham crackers where they're sugar-free. I don't even know if they exist, but uh, if you just really, really want to go that extra mile, you know, the graham cracker crust, they're real simple to make. You know, you get the graham crackers, if you can find them sugar-free, you know, maybe a cup, you crumble them all up, uh, you know, put you some butter, maybe I'm um, thinking maybe a fourth of a cup and uh you know uh, get those two ingredients together get your aluminum pan and uh, just mash it you know uh, put the ingredients to cover the circumference of the aluminum pan and then pour your ingredients in that if uh you know if you're just really 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 uh you know you want to be a stickler in terms of taking as much of that sugar out uh, as possible well i'm going to uh it oh and the chicken uh the, the uh i did manage to uh, make the uh, mock chicken uh, uh, salad last night. Uh, I found myself uh, getting a little strength together and I have the recipe there for you. I just basically took a, a can of chickpeas. I rinsed them. I mashed them. I cut up celery, onion. Uh, I include bell pepper because that's essential for the uh, 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 mock salad. I didn't have any last night, so I went without it. I found this terrific, uh, uh, it's a potato, um, like a savory, uh, roasted potato, uh, uh, seasoning that, uh, I found at the Dollar Tree, and I added some of that, and it is delicious. I really got to step my seasoning, uh, seasonings up as well, and I added some black pepper, I didn't have the onion and garlic pepper, but it was within this seasoning uh, packet that I was telling you about. And uh, I added my mayo. I stirred it up, you know, with the, you know, the uh, uh, preparation time was all of maybe like five minutes. I stored it in the refrigerator while I made my little uh, small uh, biscuits. My, in, my initial intention was to um, make the cheese biscuits and, um, and braid them and... Uh, I was going to uh, braid them and uh, coat them with a the, uh, little small uh, uh, egg wash, but uh, you know my uh, the joints in my hand went to hurting, so that was. You know, that's another issue. So anyway, uh, uh, humanity, I'm hoping that uh, I can get these uh, recipes to you a little bit faster. But remember the objective uh, uh, to trying to lower those uh, uh, those cravings and, and, and to start feeling a little bit better. You want to get as much of the sugar out. You want to uh, uh, get as much of the carbs out. You want to get, uh, you know, you want to lower the caloric content. And you want to stay mindful of the fact that the deprivation aspect is 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 just you know just think of new year's your new year's resolution most of the time the reason why you can't carry it through is because it's taking away from you those things that you've grown to love when you can replace those things and you don't have to feel the deprivation you're more apt to have have success 
when you meal prep, uh, when you have situations and circumstances that pull on you physically, pull on you mentally, you'll eat anything. Uh, uh, I can only speak for myself because you're unable, uh, 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 because those areas have been affected temporarily, mentally or physically that uh, 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 stop you from preparing uh, the healthy meals or the you know, the Lord, you know, sugar-free, uh, low-carb, and uh, taking out the caloric content. So it's essential that uh, you stay mindful of those things. And that's the reason why I touch so much on mentality. I'm going to end this real quickly because I'm going to try to get you two more. Uh, I'm trying my best to try to get these recipes to you so that when you go to the grocers or what have you, have your things on hand so you can actually do your uh, meal prepping and be better prepared when uh, uh, when the day gets hard, be it mentally or physically, you're still well stocked, you know, getting your, um, getting the sugary sodas out. And, uh, you know, I, I, I still drink a, a soda. I, as a matter of fact, I had a soda yesterday, but it was sugar free. And uh, remember what I said about mentality. There used to be a time it's like, oh, God, you got to be kidding. Diet soda. And then when you look on the back of that can and you see uh, 43 grams of carbs uh, to include 26 grams of uh, sugar. And that's just off the top of my head. Uh, that, that, that Don't quote me on that. That may not uh, be at all accurate. But, you know, that's just an example to show you that how you can take one can of soda and just, you know, it can have you aching in pain because you're not realizing that, you know, uh, uh, tons of sugar are being uh, flooded into your bloodstream because you're getting it from soda. And heaven forbid, if you're getting two or three of those, why not take broccoli and your celery and put that, uh, uh, um, that um, those one of, you know, choose the, the, the flavor that you like. I said caramel, but they have all kinds of flavors in those sugar-free uh, uh, syrups and put that in there. And like I say, you know, prove the old lady wrong. Literally, uh, uh, when you get through blending that uh, broccoli and the uh, celery and putting that, uh, your ice and putting those, uh, uh, those flavorful sugar-free uh, syrups in there, it's like you're drinking ice cream. So why not uh, uh, give your body a break, take the sugar out, drink something that's pleasing, you're not getting the deprivation, and you're getting the benefits. Don't forget, prove the old lady wrong. Do it so you'll be able to say, that old lady doesn't know what she's talking about, hoping that you're feeling real good, uh, 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 humanity. And you know how I ended. I'm going to go and get it and bring it back.